Welcome back to Ophthalmology for Undergraduates and Postgraduate Beginners. Under the clinical exam cases, today we are going to discuss an important diagnosis. Before going to the case, let us see this small video clipping. In this video, we saw a elderly female having an eye problem. She approached me for an eye problem. When I asked her, what is your problem in the eyes? She told that she has decreased vision in both the eyes for the past one year. She did not have any other problem. On further questioning this patient, the patient told, before one year, she was apparently normal. Both the eyes, she had normal vision. But around one year back, she developed a decrease in the vision in both the eyes, which was insidious in onset. Slowly progressed over the period of one year. And now she says that, the vision in the right eye is very much reduced and in the left eye, she is not able to see anything at all. Loss of vision in the left eye. This is her problem. The patient says that she had a glare in both the eyes during the course of illness. The patient says there was no change in the symptoms between daytime and nighttime. No diurnal variation. The patient confirmed that this decrease in the vision is not associated with any pain. Under the past history, when I inquired the patient, the patient told there was no similar type of illness or episodes before in her life. The medical history, when I elicited, she told that she is a known systemic hypertensive patient she is a known diabetes mellitus patient on treatment for 10 years. Under the surgical history, she told that she has not undergone any surgery in her life so far. When I asked about the personal history to the patient, the patient said she is an occasional non-vegetarian intaker. She is not a smoker, she is not a middle nut chewer, she does not take tobacco chewing, she does not consume alcohol, she does not have any exposure to sexually transmitted diseases, her bowel and bladder habits were normal. When I asked the patient, did anyone else, that is any blood relations had similar problems, the patient said she does not know. The patient is not aware of such illness in anybody else among the blood relations. But after completely seeing this case and coming to the diagnosis, I came to a conclusion that family history in this case is not relevant, is not at all important in this case. Let us see the details later. I asked the patient, you have been having this problem for the past one year. Did you ever consider about getting a treatment? The patient said, I approached a local primary health center where a doctor checked her eyes and they said she must go to a higher center for getting operated. And the patient is on antihypertensive drugs. That is amlodipine 2.5 milligrams OD for the past 10 years. Patient is having a treatment for diabetes mellitus that is hypoglycemic drug. That is also she is taking for the past 10 years. I asked the patient, does she have any allergy towards any drugs or any cosmetics or any food items? She told no. Under the general examination, 
I checked her higher functions. I checked her entire body. I checked all her systems. Everything were fine. I checked her blood pressure. It was 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury. Her respiratory rate was normal. Her temperature was normal. So everything was normal in this patient as far as general examination is concerned. After finishing the general examination, I went through with the local examination. First, I checked her head posture and whether the face was symmetrical or not. When I asked her to look straight in front of her body, I observed her head. There was no abnormal face turn, no abnormal head tilt, no chin elevation or chin depression. So that told me that the head posture in this patient was normal. Next, I looked and compared either side of the face. There was no gross abnormality or differences between the two sides of the face. So I came to a conclusion, her face was symmetrical. Ma? Even though this patient had severe symptoms in her left eye, as per protocol, I examined the right eye first. On examining the right eye, the visual acuity in the right eye was counting fingers close to the face. She was able to only count the fingers when I kept it very close to the face like this. On examining the eyebrow, it was normal. The eyelids, everything was normal. Conjunctiva, everything was normal. Cornea, it was clear and transparent. The anterior chamber, the content and depth were normal. The iris it is a normal color and pattern. Pupil, it is single, central, round, 3 millimeters in diameter and briskly reacting to light. The lens was grayish white in color and there was an Irish shadow present. After checking all the inspection findings, I examined the extraocular movements of the patient. I asked the patient to look up, look down, look to the right, look to the left and in the diagonal directions also. All the movements were full and complete. The extraocular movements are normal. Then I went to the palpation part of the examination. The palpation part of the examination was checking the intraocular pressure and checking for the regurgitation on pressure over the lacrimal sac. I used two fingers like this over the patient's eye and tried to make a small gentle fluctuation. There is a small fluctuation present but the globe was firm too. So this said that the intraocular pressure was normal. Next, I pulled the lower eyelid of a patient like this and using the other finger I pressed the lacrimal sac. I looked for regurgitation through the lacrimal punctum. There was no regurgitation at all. So there was no any collection of fluid in the lacrimal sac and the lacrimal sac is functioning normally. After completing the right eye examination, as per protocol, I moved to the left eye. I examined the vision first. It was only perception of light. The eyebrows, eyelids, conjunctiva, cornea, anterior chamber, iris, pupil, everything were normal. The lens was white in color. I did not see any pearly white color, but it was completely white. There was no Irish shadow. Extraocular movements, intraocular pressure and the Roplast test, everything were normal. Before going to the diagnosis, 
I thought of summarizing this case. An elderly female who had presented with painless insidious onset, slowly progressive loss of vision in both the eyes for the past one year with very much decreased vision in the right eye and loss of vision in the left eye for the past one month. The patient had glare in both the eyes. Patient is a known diabetic. She is a systemic hypertensive patient on treatment for 10 years. Her general examination was almost normal. Examination of the eyes showed right eye, the visual acuity was only, counting fingers close to the face, grayish white colored lens, iris shadow present. Examination of the left eye showed only perception of light, the lens was whitish in color, no iris shadow present. Now I want to make the diagnosis for this case. As I have already told, a diagnosis should have four components. One is the anatomical component, pathological component, type, staging or grading component and it should have an etiological component. In the right eye, it has affected the lens. The part of the eye which is affected is the lens. Pathology is the cataract. Type of cataract is a cortical cataract because it was grayish white in color and the staging of the cortical cataract is immature type of cataract. Etiology is due to aging or it is senility. So the right eye diagnosis is right eye senile immature cortical cataract. It is understood that cataract occurs only in the lens. So, we need not include this in the diagnosis. As far as the left eye is concerned, anatomy is the left eye. Once again, the part affected is the lens. Pathology is the cataract. The type of cataract is a cortical cataract because the cataract was whitish in color. And the whitish color or pearly white color indicates it is a mature cataract. The etiology is once again aging process that is a senility. The diagnosis for the left eye is senile cortical mature cataract. Here too lens need not be included in the diagnosis because it is understood cataract occurs only in the lens. Now it is time to write the proper diagnosis in a correct format as per protocol. Protocol is write the diagnosis of the right eye first followed by the left eye. Diagnosis for the right eye is senile cortical immature cataract. Diagnosis for the left eye is senile cortical mature cataract and the patient is also having a systemic hypertension and diabetes mellitus. Today, we have seen a patient who had both immature cataract and mature cataract. What are all the histories in this patient? What are all the findings available with the patient? How we have came to a diagnosis of this patient? With this, we will stop here today. We will discuss how we are going to approach with the same patient further in the subsequent videos. Thank you.